Welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance, everybody. Today, I just want to do a lighthearted video crapping on my favorite YouTuber, Jeremy from Financial Education. If you don't know who I am, I am Christopher Bell. I'm a certified public accountant. I'm a long-term Boglehead investor. I'm author of the book, Stop Being a Broke Loser. It's on Amazon for $3. And I'm a hater of YouTube grifters and scumbags that promise you quick gains, that promise you you're going to get rich quick, and they charge you a boatload of money to sign up for their Discord or their class or whatever stupid crap they want you to sign up for. And one of the worst offenders is this clown right here, Jeremy LaFoufou. Financial education. So he's been on YouTube for a couple of years, but I didn't know he existed for a long time until my buddy Jay Nagy, go check out his channel, told me about him. And I started to research into Jeremy Financial Education. He had an interesting story. He had like $200,000 invested by age 25. I had more with index funds. And then all of a sudden, he's suddenly this like big shot genius because he made a small speculative investment into Tesla stock. La Tesla! It's la Tesla! <laughs> Tesla's a massive bubble. Sue me if you don't like it. But now he's a big deal, okay? Because he bought Tesla. All these clowns on YouTube that bought Tesla are now massive deals. Everybody thinks they're a genius because they speculated on a freaking bubble that will burst. I promise you that, ladies and gentlemen. And the more I watched him, the more I realized he's just a pure freaking grifter. Okay, and this is my personal opinion. You know, you don't have to agree with me. But I think he just promises quick returns. And he basically just, yeah, you're going to make a lot of money if you pay him money and join his course and whatever. But I think he's just a gambling degenerate that YOLOs into a bunch of unprofitable stocks. Now, I don't know if he's watching my videos, because I've been crapping on him a lot recently. And it's okay, Jeremy. If you renounce your terrible ways, Jeremy, and you start promoting index funds, I'll leave you alone. I will completely leave you alone. I will make an apology. Well, I won't apologize to you. But I'll make a video saying Jeremy's okay now. Jeremy is okay now, okay? And I won't say you're going to be down at the truck stop anymore selling your butt, okay? I won't do that. But you have to renounce your gambling ways and stop telling your fans about these stupid stocks. And stop doing that, too. <laughs> I wouldn't miss making fun of you, though. You're easy to make fun of. <clears throat> now, today's video, we're just going to watch a couple of... Jeremy's intros because he's starting this thing where he's trying to be funny at the beginning of the video I do that too sometimes like I'll you know do a little skit and I'll upload it or I'll you know impersonate Jeremy LaFoufou I don't know if he's trying to impersonate my amazing style wouldn't that be hilarious he's a much bigger channel than I am because YouTube's full of clowns but he's really not that funny I'm gonna show you this guy's just like a charisma void so let's watch a couple of his <laughs> intros and see what we have to say <laughs> What is he guzzling here? Ah, looks like we're drinking a whole dang bottle again. Holy smokers, guys! This oh, holy smokers, guys! Okay, so in this first one, he's chugging a bottle of vodka, or whatever that is, Tesla vodka. What I, I think it's Tesla. I think Tesla had this, like, specific, you know, thing they came out with. But he's chugging some vodka or whatever, because stocks are collapsing. And it's such a joke, because... When he says stocks collapse, that means the stocks probably went down like 2%. You know, a random fluctuation in the market, which doesn't freaking matter. But with him, with his grift, he has to constantly make a video about it to pump out ad revenue and to shill his little course, you know, because he's such a genius and he gives such great analysis. So that was, oh, I got some gas. I wanted to get burped like a baby. That was his first intro. Let's go see what other hilarious intros he does. So here's him trying and failing again to be funny. <laughs> Why do people like this guy? Yeah, but there's got to be some way. Can't we just like, uh, I don't know, close this? Is that a box full of dildos? Stock market for just like the next four or five weeks. That's all I'm asking. Four weeks. Let's just make it back. The next four weeks we close the stock market. Call it a year. and um... He's talking to Warren Buffett because he's such a genius. His best friend and confidant who he actually advises and, uh, you know, gives stock tips to, is Warren Buffett. That's what I suspect he's talking to right now. I mean, this tax loss harvesting. You see what's going on out there. These stocks are being devastated. It's like, how, what, are they all going to $1? You don't have to tax loss harvest if you have your cash in a tax advantage account. Elon, you have the power. I know you don't control... Oh, he's talking to Elon Musk. 
<laughs> this is such a funny intro. Little, see the little Tesla charging right there. It's so green. We use uh, <laughs> we use fossil fuels to power our electricity, which powers our car. It's so amazing. Stock market, but trust me, you have a lot of power. You don't even realize it. You could easily do a Twitter, do a Twitter, do a Twitter poll. Yeah, say uh, something like, should I should the stock market close for the rest of the year? And and I would. All right, I understand. You gotta go. All right, man. Oh, oh shoot, I gotta go too. Holy smokers, guys! Holy smokers! All right, was that funny in the slightest? Not in the freaking slightest, okay? This guy is a pure, void, black hole of charisma, okay? The only reason he is popular is because of Tesla. He's got Teslas behind him, which he bought with grift money. <laughs> he tries, man. I mean, if, if he didn't have Tesla, he wouldn't have anything. He wouldn't have anything at all. Let's see this funny video. Uh, and <laughs> try not to laugh, okay? I know this is going to be really funny, but try not to laugh. Put Sarah on. I already, I already told you. My plant-based burrito bowl didn't have enough rice cauliflower in it today. It's on a All right, now he's talking about tattoo truckers taint sack. Acceptable. Just put her on. Oh, oh, holy smokers, guys! Holy smokers! Woo! <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying I'm the funniest comedian in the world, but I blow this clown out of the water. All right. This is what his intro should be. Let's see this one. Howdy there, folks. Howdy there, folks. At least that's, at least that prevents us from watching 20 minutes of trash humor. All right. Let's see this last intro. Try not to laugh, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I own Tattoo Chef. Girl, they call me the big chef around there. You never heard of it? It's like. It's like a plant-based food company. Sounds lame. Bet you know Krispy Kreme donuts. No, I'm just playing. Hello? Hello? Oh, shoot. Sorry, guys. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> I like how that froze. The real joke is that he wouldn't be talking to a woman. He'd be talking to one of the truckers. He's about to get, <laughs> get pounded in the ass by down at the truck stop. So, that's Jeremy Lefebvre. This man, not funny, picks terrible stocks. Freaking clown. This man has 700,000 subscribers. And let's go see some of the comments. <laughs> I know I saw a bunch of comments. Oh, you're so funny. Your intros are so amazing. Please keep doing your intros. It's so freaking sad, man. Jeremy is a hell of a comedian. Love watching his videos. <laughs> Even at my worst, I'm like way funnier than this clown. Jeremy, these intros are effing hilarious. Hmm. Let's watch that super funny one. Which one was the funniest? Let's see. Is it this one? Like, uh, I don't know, close the stock market. Uh, Elon, can you close the stock market? <laughs> Man, he's a comedian. Let's see what the comments are on this video. Oh, no, this is just a Jeremy Hate video. I don't feel like talking about stocks right now. Hmm. Hmm, anything? Absolutely love the intros. Great video, man. <laughs> Jeremy, the voice of reason in this chaotic market. Jesus freaking Christ. The intros continue to be the best thing on YouTube. This is the best thing on YouTube. What a freaking joke. Oh, I'm just going to give up on my YouTube dreams, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to have a lighthearted video. I might do a live stream and just talk some trash or look at a stock tonight, but <laughs> I kept seeing his intros. I'm like, this is so bad. But you let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you think he's funny. Let me know if you think he's a clown. You know, Actually, let me know who's funnier. Me or Jeremy LaFufu. I just want to, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Anyway, that's it. Like, subscribe. Tell your friends about me. Have a wonderful night. Cheers!